Yo, what's good guys? Peter here, man. We are back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day as always. But today, man, we gotta talk, man. 2K19 has been lying to us. Now, let me start off by saying this is still a really good game. You know, it's better than 2K18, way better. Better than 2K17. Uh, I don't know if it's better than 2K16 yet. You know, we're gonna have to wait out for the whole year. You know, the game's only been out for like one or two weeks. But still... 2K seems to lie to us. And a lot of these are huge in the game and a lot of people still don't know. So make sure I drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on notice, spam up that 80K in the comments, man. We're so close. And let's get into the video. So 2K has been through a lot recently. You guys know there's been three patches in the last three days. I mean, we're on our fifth patch, guys. Like, like what is this? This is definitely gonna break the record uh, for most patches in a 2K game, man. Five patches in like two weeks. And basically what these patches did, you know, the first patch made it easier to contest people. The second patch made it even easier. And then the third patch, which came out today, made it, I guess, harder again? I don't even know, man. Like, guys, if you guys have been playing 2K recently, do you guys like these patches? Let me know. But what inspired me to make this video is yesterday, somebody hit 95 overall. So I was like, yo, this game's been out for less than two weeks. You know, somebody's already 95 overall. Basically, what we all thought the reward was, was this rebirth option, which is where if you hit 95 overall, you could basically have attribute upgrades and stuff, go to a new player. But 2K pretty much lied to us. It's really not what you think. All right, so you hit 95, it gives you the option to use the rebirth option. Obviously, you can just press yes, but your player still has 60 overall. All it does is give you some cat breakers to go from the potential of being an 85 to an 89, not even a 90. You know, people hit 90 in like the first day of the game. So it basically, especially when you're playing the game that much, it saves you one day of playing micro on a new player that's not going to really help you. It doesn't give you any VC, it doesn't give you any actual attribute upgrades to that player. You're still a 60 overall. So you still have to spend the 200k plus VC to upgrade him what 2k man i 2k they they do something like this every single year man so that's what inspired me to make this video that's just one of the lies that they told this year but let's go through some more and a lot of these like i said you know they're big you know they have to do with some more rep rewards all right so starting off we have hotspots so when the game came out everybody thought that there were separate park hotspots and my career hotspots so the way it used to always work before is that you would grind your hotspots in my career then you could have hotspots in the park but since they pushed this whole skill gap thing they're like yeah you know you can get hotspots in the park by shooting well in the park so that's actually an accurate representation of how good you are but that's not what happened. It's the exact same thing as last year. You know, you go into my career, you do your method, whatever you want to call it, and you get your hotspots in my career. Then you can go to the park. All right, next thing we have the rep system. The rep system was supposed to go to legend. I'm not talking about the overall system. I'm talking about, you know, the amateur, pro, elite, all that stuff. That was supposed to go to legend, but it just didn't. Actually, somebody already hit elite three, which is the highest rep, like eight days into the game. So somebody already hit the highest rep. So yeah, there's no legend rep. Also, I wouldn't call this lying because they never said this, but uh, we, they all hyped up, yo, there's, there's separate park rep this year, but there are literally no rewards for it. All right, next slide that 2K told, and this has to do with grinding to 99. They said that they were gonna make it their priority this year to make sure that my career wasn't just the fastest way to grind to 99, that everybody wasn't just playing my career and stuff like that. We all know that's a lie, man. That's definitely a lie. Um, every rep grinder is still playing my career all day, 20 hours a day, whatever, to be one of the first 99s, even after they nerfed my career and buffed part, people are still grinding my career. And that was one of the huge problems last year. All right, the next lie that 2K told, man, this applies to everybody. That is that shooting is harder this year. It's harder to shoot. You know, you have to do this and that. And it's so much harder than 18 and skills matter this and that. That's just not true. Actually, I knew this was going to be true because everybody was like, yo, the shooting is going to be harder. You know, the stretch bigs aren't going to have this 99 open three, this and that. Don't make a stretch big. It's not harder to shoot in this game at all. If anything, it's the same as 18, maybe even a little bit easier because pretty much everybody's attributes were nerfed, but everybody's shooting pretty much just as well. All right, guys, next up, this one has to do with the rep reward. So I already talked about you know, the rebirth option, how that's just not what we all thought it was. But this has to do with pretty much half the rep rewards in all of the game. And that's every skateboard, scooter, bike, all of that. You can't even use that in the park. You can only use it in the neighborhood. They made this same exact mistake last year, but they eventually made it so you can put the skateboard in the park. You still can't do that this year. It's like, yeah, yo, you, you grind into this overall, you know, you can spend all this VC on this rep board that you're only gonna be able to use in the neighborhood. Like you can't even use it in the park, which is where literally everybody is. That defeats like the whole purpose of whatever thing you buy. So out of all of the rep rewards that we've seen so far, the only one you can really use in the park is like the megaphone where you like sit on the thing and have the sign and 
that thing. That's like the only thing you can use in the actual park. Out of all like the scooter, uh, bike, all that, you can't use that in the park. And that has so many people thinking like, are they gonna make it so you can't ride your hoverboard in the park? Cause that's basically the same thing. Are they gonna make it so you can't wear your mascot in the park? You can't play in your mascot? Like that's something QK would do at this point. I'm not gonna lie. With the way they're doing things with these rep rewards, like at least they could have just told people before the game count. You know, like, the game is still good. Like why not just tell people that that's how it is? It makes the game seem worse when you realize after you've bought the game that like all these rep rewards that you grinded for, that you spent all this VC on can't be used the way they're supposed to. All right, guys, next we have the graphics you know the 2k19 graphics look at these screenshots that they're posting man like yo the graphics are so good look at this improvement this and that uh they're working so much on the graphics and then you get into the park man and this is what the graphics look like like what they're worse they're i swear they're worse than last year they're like is that that's not even next gen graphics that's like some 2k12 xbox 360 graphics like what i, I don't even know what to say guys like the, I don't even know, man. Graphics, not, no, they're not that much better. In fact, they're worse. All right, the next one, this is a classic, man. Classic 2K. I'm sure all of you guys are loving how they did this this year. That's to do with the VC, man. They were saying, yo, there's so many different ways that you can earn VC this year. Like, it's not, we're not going to be money hungry. You know, if anything, it's better than last year, this and that. Um, no. Okay, so, yeah, you could argue that you do get a little bit more VC for your park games, and they have these mini games that are maybe, like, once a day, like the Trivia or the Dodgeball, which is, like, maybe three times a day, something like that, that you can earn VC from. But, everything costs way more! Upgrading your player is about the same, but as soon as you upgrade your player, you look at the rep rewards that you get. A skateboard that is literally, like, you get this just from upgrading your player, 85 over, you don't have to do anything. That's 60,000 VC. A football that you get at 80 overall, 50,000 VC. The megaphone at 92 overall, a quarter million VC. Are you, what, that's, how, that's more than a whole player cost to upgrade. And like I said, man, this has to do with more of the future rep rewards, man. You guys can see, you know, the thumbnail of this video, man. That's what the store is eventually gonna look like, right? You're gonna have the hoverboards, you're gonna have the mascots, stuff like that. How much are those things gonna cost? Like, are you gonna spend, what if it's like 500K for a hoverboard that you might not even be able to ride in the park? And then we have the whole daily spin wheel that you can go to the stage to spin. Well, only one person can spin it at a time. So you've got to wait at least five minutes to spin one wheel just to get like a little bit of VC or a little bit of my points or stuff like that. And of course that ends up making the stage dead. There's like three games being played on it the whole time because everybody just joins the stage to wait in line to spin the wheel. I don't know why they did it like that. I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting to see how these rep rewards really turn out because with the way they're actually working right now, it seems kind of fishy. And there's only four more rep rewards, man, 96 to 99. And then some of those don't even have things uh, that you actually actually get like 96 i think it's just double vc and 99 obviously is like the whole immortalized thing you get the legend badge or 99 badge i don't know what you want to call it stuff like that now those are just some of the ones i named off of the top of my head so i'm sure there's a few more but you know the rep awards like everything to do with the rep rewards like that's the big one right there especially the whole vc thing now some of the things that they lied about you know they still can't fix but the game is still really good and some of these other problems they can still fix man let me know if you guys can relate to some of these man these are some of the problems i have let me know in the comments all right starting off lag out man you guys lag out like i've been lagging out a lot dude i don't know why it's just in the middle of the game it's not even laggy all of a sudden I get the countdown i lag out next the parks man you can't even see your own win streak i don't know why like obviously everybody can relate to that unless you haven't gotten a win streak then I <sighs> oof man like i don't know i don't know what to say to you man but I, I think everybody can relate to that you can't see your own win streak but not only that the parks are all dead man you don't get games like load into a park right now you're gonna see at max three or four threes games being played like if you see six take a screenshot man cherish that moment because you're not gonna get a lot of parks like that they don't load nearly enough people in the parks i really hope they fix that because the, all the parks are dead man like it'd be a shame if this game was ruined by that you know what i mean and then not only that man when you want to join your friend it just takes you into like every other park but your friend's park you could try to join them five times it'll take you to five different servers just not the one your friend is in man like that that's still a problem you guys have that problem and then for all you guards out there man i, I can relate to you people that spam square or x you know gotta show some love to my xbox people spam square spam x whatever I, like dude you have no idea bro like when you're just trying to iso somebody and cook them and they just start spamming like you know they're nervous you know they don't want to get cooked they just want to annoy you especially if they know who i am you know they just don't want to get cooked or they want to annoy me or whatever like it's just so 
bad like there's like why did they do that it's not that they even get the steals it's just that they spam so much and it just gets so annoying they either need to reduce the amount of fouls you need to foul out in park or just like make it so if you press square once to try to steal the ball you can't just spam it after that like like you, you can't just reach a bunch like, i've done that before you guys know what i'm talking about i don't know if you guys have been having this problem but custom jump shots not equipping man you're like I'll, I'll make a custom jump shot equipped to my player and then it'll just go back to like a regular jump shot i don't know man if you guys relate to those things i mean to get it live about them but there's still some problems man they gotta get fixed in 2k19 but i'm still concerned about these rep rewards man like i hope that they're really good i hope they're worthwhile we'll have to see man but anyway that's it for the video thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed again make sure you drop a like down below as always we're going for 500 likes also if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe turn on notice join the family you guys don't want to miss more 2k19 content man we're on that daily upload grind and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace